Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Bite of Geek. Today I'm going to be going through adding in a feature to Home Assistant which will inevitably make your environment an awful lot richer. So let's get into it. So what is this feature I'm talking about? Well this is Hacks, H-A-C-S otherwise known as Home Assistant Community Store. And basically it is, if you think of it as, uh, you know, a, a additional items that you can add into Home Assistant uh, above and beyond the core product uh, that you have already gone and installed if you've been following this series. So why do you need hacks installed on your Home Assistant installation? Well, out of the box, Home Assistant has a very uh, specific set of integrations, the way it looks and things like that. You know, it is all kind of like bog standard. And for certainly playing around with Home Assistant, that's probably going to be fine for most people. Uh, certainly, as you can see from the videos that I've gone through in this series, I've managed to get my smart devices up and running and have a dashboard working in Home Assistant without even installing hacks. So, you know, this is something kind of to take you from the next level with Home Assistant and basically you know if you want to try and uh, you know have a, a different look and feel to the standard Home Assistant installation you're going to need to have something like Hacks. Um, likewise if you've got uh, some weird and wonderful devices uh, that, that maybe aren't supported in the in the core uh, installation of, ha um, of Home Assistant, you're going to need hacks to be installed to be able to support that. So I, I think the, the thing to mention first is hacks. You know, Home Assistant is developed by the Home Assistant team. Um, you know, it is a fully supported product. Uh, you know, they, they obviously have all their bug fixes and things like that. Hacks is very different. Hacks is not supported by the Home Assistant team. This is third party people like you, me, somebody else writing some uh, YAML or whatever, uh, you know, some scripts or something like that, that will go and work with uh, Home Assistant. So, um, you know, there's a huge caveat with this that, you know, there's no guarantee that something that you go and install from Hacks is necessarily going to work. It could completely go and screw up your Home Assistant environment. You've got to unwind from there. But if you've watched one of my previous videos, I'm sure you'll have probably already gone and taken backups as you go along. Um, but as I say, you know, it has the potential to make your home assistant environment uh, a, a much more uh, pleasurable uh, experience. Uh, you know, it enables you to do an awful lot more with the environment. And certainly if you're going to want home assistant on a tablet that maybe you're going to you know, hang on a wall or something like that, you're probably going to want to have a different theme to the, the kind of like the bog standard one that you get with Home Assistant. So what I'm going to go through now is how you install hacks. Uh, it is a, a relatively straightforward process, um, but you will need to have gone to um, my previous video um, where I talk about some of the things that you should go and install uh, when you first set up Home Assistant because you're going to need terminal up and running on your Home Assistant installation. So once you've got terminal installed, you just need to uh, click on your side panel and uh, run terminal. That will open up a command prompt for you and you need to type in the following uh, command which is down below and I'll put that in the description as well. Um, when you've done that just press enter and that will go off and talk to the uh, hacks uh, install server and drag down a copy of hacks and install that into your home assistant uh, setup. So when that's finished you just need to go into configuration settings and restart Home Assistant. Let that do its thing and it will come back to life after a few seconds. Once that's restarted you just go back into configuration again then into devices and services and then click on the button in the bottom right hand corner to add integration. You need to then uh, search for hacks, so H-A-C-S remember, and uh, click on that and then you'll get a box um, just with some questions basically. All they're doing there is they're just um, trying to get you to understand that you're doing this all at your own risk. So if you're quite happy proceeding with this, then you just tick all of those boxes and uh, and then just continue on that process. 
Now the next part of the installations is just where it gets a little bit interesting. So you're going to need a GitHub account for this next step. So basically um, what will happen is it will uh, prompt you to link your Hacks installation with your GitHub account. Now, if you don't know what GitHub is, basically it is a online cloud-based um, repository where primarily developers, I suppose, uh, in the grand scheme of things, go and stick all their source code for their applications that they go and write and um, use it as a source code management system. So um, Hacks is using this to basically, you know, link your side of things with your account that you create there. It is completely free of charge. You will get a confirmation email come through to your uh, email address and you'll need to punch in the code that Hacks is waiting for uh, there. So you just follow the on-screen instructions. It's really straightforward. And then when that's completed, it'll it'll say that it's gone and basically authenticated, verified that your Hacks install and your GitHub account are, are linked together. So once that's done, you can close your GitHub window. You don't need that open anymore. That will just return you back to Home Assistant and you just click on uh, OK on the little window there. You don't really need to worry about the area where Hacks is going to exist. It'll just go into the default and you'll be back to your integrations page and, and the uh, Hacks will be sat there waiting for you to go and just uh, finish off the settings basically. That's, that's the last step that you need to do. So to configure Hacks, just like any other integration, just click on the configure button and uh, you'll get a little pop-up window. Just leave all the top stuff as is as a default. You don't need to change those at the moment. Uh, you've got some check boxes underneath. Uh, so you've got um, app daemon and net daemon. So just tick those for now. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll go through those in a later video. And once you're done, just, just click on OK on that. And that is now Hacks set up and running on your system. So to use Hacks, it's really straightforward. So you have your little shortcut in the sidebar menu. So you just click on that. And then on the right-hand side of the home system screen, you've got various options there. So you've got things like integrations, front end, as well as things like automation. So um, basically we'll, we'll just take a quick look at the integrations. So you click on that and you, know, you can see that it's a huge amount in the list. Um, stuff here for uh, Xiaomi. Um, you know, the, the, the list is, is endless and you can search through there, try and find something that's local to you. So, you know, that is something which, you know, I'll be wanting to do with uh, my Toya smart devices uh, long term with my home assistant. Um, but, you know, when you when you come out of there and you go into front end, so this is where you have all kind of like your, your themes uh, and your user interface side of things. As you can see, you know, there's a couple of nice little ones to just click on here. So you've got nice kind of like iOS style one uh, and you've got, you know, a nice um, dark theme here as well. So lots and lots of stuff to play around with and, um, you know, to kind of like experiment with. Uh, but, you know, just you rewind this video a little bit. And what I said um, very early on in this is, you know, make sure you're doing a backup before you start playing around um, with some of these things, because um, you know, you really don't want to mess up all the hard work that you've got to uh, at this point in your journey with Home Assistant. So there you go, guys. That is Hacks, and that's how you get it installed into your Home Assistant setup and a very brief look at how you actually go and find items uh, to go and install uh, to use with Home Assistant. I will be doing a further video where I go and use some of those items because I am going to be using some of those as part of my setup. So don't fret, um, don't bombard me in the comments that you know the video didn't uh, didn't cover that aspect. It's all all under control. Um, but if there's anything you'd want to see in that video um, with regards to these items, you know, make sure you drop it down below in the comments. And any other thoughts on this video, you know, feel free. Um, you know your experiences with hacks and stuff like that. You know, put those down below in the comments as well. Um, you know, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you are uh, not a subscriber to the channel and uh, you've just found this series, uh, maybe you're going to start from the beginning. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to get notifications of, of when you know the next video drops for this series. Uh, but as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.